Hello there, everyone. My name is Run Bam, Run Faster. And I'm Myrtle. And welcome back to the Banner Saga. Dun dun dun! Last time we helped a local Jarl clear out some brigands. Whatever now, those are. Now we're gonna clean up the rest of the mess for twice the king's tide. Aw, so oh, yeah. We're, we're at the proving grounds, right? Uh, we're about to be. Oh, okay. Uh, you're approached by a familiar man who walks in step as you're, as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Okay. Alright. Now, this is the part where it stops being voice acted. And there's way more male voices than there are female voices. So you're probably going to have to pull your weight here. <laughs> Would you like to be to be Eirik? Oh, is it Eirik? E-I-R-I-K? Alright. I don't know Norse pronunciation. Just just make it a weird voice, then. A funny voice. <clears throat> Eric, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. So need an Emmy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get that Oscar. Ubin. Ubin? Ubin. Ubin, isn't it? Y yeah? Sure, it is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Tell me, have you been smoking? Dude, uh, it's just what I do, okay? I mean, look at those look at those slit eyes. He's he's clearly been hitting the Mary and, J. And and the little side things. I know, the little like side tassels. Yeah. Uh uh what did you have in mind? Scalfings. Scalfings. I feel a bit cheated that I'm the one that's just getting, like, thrown out here. <laughs> okay. Skull things that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. That, that sentence does not need a subject. I, I've got the... the... the stuff. Yeah. By the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who could tell us. When did we become an us? I never agreed to anything with you. Who's we, hornless man? <laughs> Tiny hornless man. I know. He's like, All right, they're so really small, right? We like, have the, yeah, I mean, compared to the Varl. Right, humans compared to the horn dudes. Yeah, the Varl. Those. I will never remember that. Varl. He thinks if Varl. he keeps saying it... Bam thinks if he keeps saying it, I will remember something. Let me handle this. Oh, we agreed to go with him. All I right. know this dealer. He's cool. <laughs> you meander through rolls. Rolls? Rolls? It's the bakery district. <laughs> you meander through rolls of open open face houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. He seems friendly. Dad, I'm not in the mood today. For... for what? Talking to an idiot and the other stuff. That was rude. Right? I'm mean. Why'd you make me a mean person? You know, uh, I thought it would reflect the inner you. He is so getting slapped after this. <clears throat> Straight in the face. The Skullfing's chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me what... Rat anus, the rest of them crawled back into. <laughs> Nobody's gonna try to kill you this time. Really? Really? Rat anus. You know, they're creative with their insults. <laughs> I don't talk to. They don't talk to me. We're gonna be a. We're gonna be a friendly Varl. Are we? I think so. Eh. Had I had a change of heart, ha, ha, had I had a change of heart, I hope you do give us a hard time. Had sweats visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Uh-oh. They're bongs. <laughs> Wait, just buy one of these. Everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week. How am I supposed to know much? Well, your fancy beard should let you know. This is a little food money, eh? Yeah? Food money. Heavy quotes around that. Mm. Uh, intimidate him, pay him, or do nothing. Do we have money right now? I don't know. Fuck this guy, though. Yeah. 
You motion to Gunnulf, your enormous bodyguard, who's bigger than you somehow, yeah. who looms over the man like a snake over a mouse. Does that, does that mean he's, like, pounced and, like, drawn back and hissing? Probably. It's a fun fact that Varl communicate entirely by hissing, so the next time I voice a Varl, I'm just going to go... That was pathetic. That was a pathetic hiss. Gods! I Rick! Laying it on a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the skull things? Noblemen! Up by the beast east wall, or the beast wall, as we call it in the home country. But that was months ago, last I know. Had skulks away with a wave of Irik's hand, gathering things from his hovel. Disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done <clears throat> here? I was going to take him, but I'm glad you did. Good enough. Were you wearing green back at the hall? No. Just bought him while you were walking around. Why? I like that voice fits him because he has that big <laughs> nose and you just know it's like stuffed full of hair. It is growing, like, straight from straight his nose. Straight out of his nose. Wow. That, that is that's, the most impressive that's, nose hair. That's another fun fact about Varl, is that they don't grow mustaches, like, on their upper lip. It just, that's nose hair, actually. <laughs> We're gonna compliment him. Okay. He, the he, red and the green? Yeah. yeah it, it's it works for him. It's complimentary colors. for him. Girl, that color rocks for you. You look so good. I'm glad you care. <laughs> Excuse me. Gunnolf goes to look at more stalls. Gonna tie this look together with a he, fancy clutch. He is such a dandy. <laughs> Eric, that man of yours seems unreliable at best. I don't know why I decided Ubin has a superhero voice. I don't know, but he does now, and that's okay. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be scalping. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. I've decided I'm going to make him an old man. Noble Ben is a mead hall. Best I can tell, the name's ironic. <laughs> uh, he, he does think it's a rat, Sanus. Yeah. Yeah, still, thank you for giving me that one. Rat anus. Thrill of my life. Mm. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of those these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Ah, uh, yeah. Gotta take a puff first. Uh, should, shouldn't we have an approach? Shouldn't we? What a luxury. Come on, you've already mopped up worse today. Oh, well, fine. I mean, he has a point, I guess. Alright. Just make sure the government renews his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. I'll make a note of it in my little hair tassels. <laughs> just hang it straight from them. Maybe, maybe that's what they are. They're yeah. like little reminders, like wrapping yeah, the like, string around your like finger. Little, like he just like pins little notices to them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Loading. It's a loading screen. It's a loading. It's not oh. a loading screen anymore. Uh, okay, so we have the Mead House. All right. How do you know that's the Mead House? Because it says Mead House. Right there. Oh, but it's all fancy. It is all fancy. Okay. It's, it's, I, I brought it up last time we played this before we ever recorded it. This game has, like, near runes? I don't know, I'll, I'll bitch more about it when we get to the world map. Good, can't wait. Uh-huh. I, I know it's secretly what you all came here for. You just woke up and was like, I want to hear Bam bitch about inaccuracies and fake languages. It's... It's what we all dream of, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, Internet, I don't feel sorry for you. I get it every day. <laughs> every day. You arrive in front of what's, what must be Nobleman. A few minutes later, Eirik appears with a weather-beaten man introduced as Valgard. I'll point them out. Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? I'd rather sit this <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys take care of it. Ah. <laughs> uh I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to a different mead house <laughs> and get some actual mead. That's the spirit. 
says Valgard. Okay, here we go. Valgard boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. Valgard is kind of a dick. As you enter the hall, Eirik is already at the head of the table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken, scalfing, scramble to find their own weapons. Turning tables and mead steins in the progress. No, not the mead! No, it's a perfectly good waste of mead! How could you do that? How could you do that? It's... It, it makes me want to cry, really. Now they... I know why scalfings are, are not looked upon well. It's because they waste mead. Also, lots of loading screens. Yeah. This, like... I mean, it just, it kind of seems like it because it's a very segmented game. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. But we're going to have to... We're, we're going to have this, we're gonna have this fight next time on games I'd like to film. Okay, so, uh, start casting bets on who's going to win. Is it going to be team two really big people and a couple of tiny people? Or team drunken skull things? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cast your votes in the comments. Yep. Yep. And then like, and subscribe, and do all that jazz. As a stretch goal, if we reach $20,000, maybe Ubin will get off his fucking ass. Nah. Nah, Probably he's not. way too cool for that. Probably so not. So are all those people in the back with the weapons. Yeah, just I mean, way too cool to fight. They're, they're, they're not involved. They're just hanging out. You got a drink, drinking horn. Little ra- oh, that's very fancy. That is. That's very fancy. It has nothing to do with like getting meat out of that nope. barrel, but... Nope. That's okay, though. They are very decorative, uselessly decorative people. And that man is pissed drunk. The fighting has not even Fight started. him first. <laughs> Fight him first. I bet we win that one. Well, until next time, I've been Run Bam Run Faster. And I have been Myrtle saying the words rat anus. Mm-hmm. 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 We hope you enjoyed this very story-heavy episode, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.